Up till now, we have talked about all the different types of nitrogen fixations. That is, atmospheric fixation, industrial and biological fixation in detail. Now, we will take up how this absorbed form of nitrogen used up in the plant. That is, assimilation of nitrogen. And this nitrogen is in the usable form. So, we are talking about in all those usable forms, how is that nitrogen assimilated by the plant? Step number one is nitrate assimilation. The nitrogen, molecular nitrogen, which was converted into nitrates, has to be assimilated. This takes place in two sub steps. First is Nitrate is converted into nitrite, that is NO3 into NO2. Here, the enzyme which is required is known as nitrate reductase. This nitrate reductase is a molybdenum containing flavoprotein. Step 2 or sub step 2 is now this nitrite is to be reduced. So this is known as nitrite reduction or if we have to just name the step this will be called nitrate reduction and this will be called nitrite reduction. So nitrite is reduced into ammonia. The enzyme which helps here is known as nitrite reductase. This nitrite reductase is iron and copper containing protein. This nitrite reductase is without molybdenum. So there is no molybdenum in this particular enzyme. Both these reactions take place at a faster pace in presence of light. So here we can write for these two reactions, they are faster in light. So what has happened is, when we were talking about nitrogen fixation, we said molecular nitrogen is converted into usable form. Now we are talking about how that usable form of nitrogen is actually used up by the plant for protein synthesis. In this, the first step is nitrate assimilation. Nitrate is reduced into nitrite with the help of an enzyme and then nitrite is reduced into ammonia again with the help of reductase. And these reactions, they are faster whenever light is available. So now, Nitrate or nitrites are again converted into ammonia. Second step after nitrate assimilation is synthesis of amino acids. Using this ammonia, now amino acid would be synthesized. Ammonia is converted into ammonia ion. And this ammonium ion now reacts with alpha keto glutaric acid. With this, there is one more thing which is required that is NABPH, which is going to help in providing the hydrogen. And now amino acid is synthesized. That amino acid is glutamic acid plus NADP is released and water molecule is also formed. So here one amino acid that is glutamic acid is synthesized. So step is synthesis of amino acid. Nitrogen got fixed. The fixed form, the usable forms then were converted into ammonia 
and then ammonia to ammonium ion and then ammonium ion is used to synthesize the amino acid. These amino acids are used to synthesize proteins but there is one more step here because only one amino acid got synthesized here. From this we want or the plant would need many more amino acids. So that process is known as transamination. Other amino acids are synthesized by transferring the amino group from this amino acid to for, for or rather for formation of other amino acid. So from glutamic acid by this process that is transamination other amino acids are synthesized. All other amino acids would be synthesized in this manner. Plus, using the amino group from the same acid, amino acid, there can be synthesis of amides. Amides can also be synthesized. And these amides, they contain more nitrogen. Amides have more nitrogen and that is why many a times instead of amino acids amides are synthesized and these amides they are again translocated through xylem. So this is also one way by which the amino group can be transferred. In some plants like soya bean there is another substance in which nitrogen gets transferred or transformed. That plant is soya bean. So in soya bean, urides, this is the form in which nitrogen is translocated. And again, this is going to happen through xylem. So now, Amino acids are synthesized all different types and using these amino acids protein would be synthesized. So after third step, the fourth step if at all we have to write then that is going to be protein synthesis. So we can write step number four here protein synthesis. So now with this nitrogen metabolism gets completed. The first thing is using molecular nitrogen it has to be converted into usable form so that plants can use it. We saw nitrogen cycle also and then in atmospheric fixation how is it converted into usable form? Industrial fixation and biological fixation in detail. After it has been converted into usable form plants absorb those forms. After they are absorbed, then one, they are converted into ammonia, ammonia to ammonium ion. From ammonium ion, amino acids are synthesized and using these amino acids, proteins would be synthesized. From only one amino acid gets synthesized initially, uh, uh, glutamic acid and aspartic acid. These are the two ones which are synthesized and from those, by transamination, all other amino acids would get synthesized. And then, using those, proteins can also be synthesized. So, this is how in plants, nitrogen fixation takes place. And using that nitrogen, protein gets synthesized. Now, only last thing which remains in this chapter is heterotrophic mode of nutrition. We know that certain plants, they show heterotrophic trophic mood, mode of nutrition. That is that they can be saprophytic, parasitic or insectivorous. So let us write down a couple of examples in that category. Heterotrophic mode of nutrition in plants. Most of the plants, they are autotrophic and they obtain or make their uh, nutrition or uh, carbohydrate on their own. Plus, they absorb all those mineral elements which are required from the soil. 
but there are certain plants which show a different mode. In this, we have three categories. The first, parasitic plants. Certain plants, they obtain their nourish nourishment directly from the host plant. In this, the examples that we can take off is Cascuta, which absorbs the complete nourishment from the host plant, that is water also and food also. This is one parasitic plant and it has those hostoria or parasitic roots with the help of which it takes the nourishment from the host plant. Then there is Rafflesia, which is a partial uh, root parasite. Rafflesia, which is also a partial root parasite and Santalum which is also a partial root parasite. So there are certain parasitic plants. Then the next category is of saprophytic plants. This is also a very rare thing. The plants which grow or obtain their nourishment from dead and decaying matter. The common uh, plant which is uh, known as Indian Pipe and its scientific name is Monotropa. So this is a saprophytic plant and third category is of insectivorous plants. And these insectivorous plants, they are autotrophs. They perform photosynthesis, they are autotropic, but they require amino acids of animal origin and that is why they feed on these insects. They require amino acids of animal origin and that is why they feed on those insects. Some examples of this, one is Utricularia nepenthes, that is pitcher plant. So let us write down these examples. One is Nepenthes Utricularia and Saracenia. These are certain insectivorous plants. So other than the normal mode of uh, nutrition in plants, here we see certain variations. One is parasitic where it is going to obtain complete nourishment from the host. Saprophytic, it is going to grow on dead and decaying matter and it would obtain its nourishment from there. And the third category, they are autotrophic. But because they require amino acids of animal origin, that is why they feed on insects. And as they get their amino acids from animals, they actually don't need nitrogen from the soil or nitrogen fixed in, in, from the soil. And that is why these plants, they can grow in, they can grow in nitrogen deficient soil also. Because anyways, their nitrogen requirement or amino acid requirement would be fulfilled from the insects which they feed on. So this is some extra information uh, on this uh, chapter and now we are done with the entire chapter of mineral nutrition in plants and we have seen all essential elements, their role, functions and deficiency symptoms, the criteria also the mechanism of absorption and we talked of nitrogen metabolism in detail and these are certain extra.